What's going on, everybody? Got a little something to show off. But first, oh, my chickens are going to decide to make a bunch of noise now that I started talking. Let me shut the door. Sorry. All right. But first, we are going to shout out Red Hill Cutlery and redhillcutlery.com and Bourbon and Blades, which is this weekend coming up. If you can make it, you should check it out. It's in Radcliffe, Kentucky, uh, not too far from me, about 25 minutes from where I live at. It's going to be awesome. Um, if you have the opportunity, check it out. All right. Real quick, do some shout-outs because these guys have been helping me out. Um, Red Hill Cutlery, of course. Satu Dave. If you haven't subscribed to his channel, go check him out. S-A-T-U, Dave. Um, Timbo437. Dude, thank you. You're awesome. I appreciate all your help. And uh, My Bad Adventures. M-Y-B-A-D-D -D Adventures. These guys have accepted me into their, their inner circle. They have sent people my way to check out my channel. Um, and I'm very grateful. And I want to thank everybody who's supporting me and helping me out through this, uh, getting this channel going. I really appreciate it. Next thing, uh, subscribe, share, hit the like button. Please, do me a favor, hit that like button. It's not going to hurt you. And if you do, as usual, you're automatically entered to win a unused but opened pack of wood screws with the anchors. Um, next thing. Just busted 100 subs. Actually, way over. Um, we're right at about 125. So that means it's giveaway time. I'm going to give away that Kubi um, knife. Forget the name of it. Uh, might add something else with it too. Just for shits and giggles. Because I appreciate you guys. Subscribing to my channel, watching it, interacting, and uh, giving me support. Anyway, so I'm going to find a, a way to do that that's uh, the easiest and the smoothest, and I will be doing it soon. So uh, I might just copy off of another channel and, and do a giveaway like they would do it. Just to be easy and I have a reference for something that works. Anyway, it's going to happen soon. Uh, old Lamech Knives. Past couple weeks, I've been seeing a lot of Old Lamech Knives popping up on a couple websites. And uh, they're doing some cool shit. Doing some new stuff. They're using new steels. Uh, new blade shapes for the 247. There's like five or six, seven different new blade shapes, which is awesome. Um, they're using S90V, uh, on that model. They're using XHP, um, on a, they have a new model called the Appetizer, which is tiny little knife, but, you know, tiny knives are popular as hell, so, um, and the Appetizer is kind of like a multi-tool because it has another little tool on it too. You'll have to check them out. Uh, they got them over at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Dun, dun, dun. If you want to go check them out. Uh, I'm not affiliated with them, but you can go check them out. Anyway, I was on DLT trading the other night, minding my own business, and uh, scrolling through the new new uh, arrivals, and I came across this. I don't know if you can see that. The whippersnapper's back. This time. Oh, and... I've definitely been in this already. I, I tore into this like a like a kid on Christmas as soon as I got home. But I just wanted to show you what they came with. But this time the whippersnapper is a bolster lock. And it's using CTS XHP steel. And I will never get... There it is. Right there. This particular one... It's dark matter fat carbon with some blue in it. Let's 
if you can see that. Uh, matte blue hardware, the matte blue folding backspacer, and uh, dark gray wash, everything else. <clears throat> These come with uh, a nice case, of course. Information, serial number. The BL, I'm guessing, stands for bolster lock. Sheep's foot blade, flat grind, CTS XHP. Thank God it's not M390. So sick of that shit. Um, dark wash, tie wash bolsters. You can read. I don't need to read that for you. Anyway. This thing's rad. Lots of opening options. They all work well. This thing came wicked sharp. Looks like one of my edges. I did not sharpen it. It's pretty thin behind the edge. You can get a four finger grip and I have big hands. <clears throat> the action is ridiculous. I'm terrible at front flippers and I can still... Oh, yeah, I did it. Front flip the hell out of this guy. So, that's a small knife, right? How big is it? It's about the same size as this guy. And if you're not aware how big this is because you don't own one, if you don't own a PM2, you have or you've held one. And if not, you need to go do yourself a favor and buy one. But that's about how big it is. Um, blades just slightly under three inches. You have a four inch uh, <clears throat> or so handle. So it's actually quite comparable to this one. You still get your four finger grip and you still have just barely enough blade to make it usable. I like a big knife. This guy's kind of small, but I had to have it. I've wanted a whippersnapper for a long time. And they rarely show up on the secondary, and they haven't made, Olamic hasn't made them in a long time, as far as I'm aware. So, I jumped all over it. And I do like the bolster lock, even though it's still a frame lock. I do like that, that, uh, these, uh, scales are over top of it. I think it looks cool. Um, they have this knife in a, an extremely large array of different setups. Uh, all kinds of different fat carbons, um, other carbon fibers. I saw um, some burlap micarta, satin blades, jeweled bolsters, different hardwares. I've seen Tamascus, uh, um, some damascus steel blades, which is freaking cool. And these are expensive as shit. Um, from what I understand, these are American-made knives. They are CNC, but they are all hand put together and tons of hand work done to them. Um, you can, there's videos floating around out there of them guys in their shop um, doing a lot of hand work to these knives. Um, this one's one of the more basic ones um they're starting out around 600 bucks and then they go to the stratosphere from there i think the most expensive one i saw was 15 1600 dollars and that was damascus steel uh mokami or mokata or yabba dabba do all kinds of shit uh on it it was a uh, full dress basically um too fancy for me um, this one was $750, which is insanity. Um, I punched myself right in the wallet with that one. I don't like to spend that kind of money on a knife ever, but when I do, it, it needs to be a big, usable... I mean, this is usable. Something I'm going to use every single day... And get a lot of use out of it to justify that eight eight hundred dollars or more. 
Um, but this guy's nice. I've wanted one for a long time, so I thought I'd try it out. And I know I could have got four or five knives for the channel for the price of this one. But I haven't seen nobody else uh, do a video on these new ones at all. So I jumped on the opportunity. Um, I really want to check out one of their Wayfair 247s. They got some really cool blade styles um, with thumb studs and spidey holes and flippers and all that, all kinds of shit, all kinds of different uh, blade shapes. Um, they're all 3.5. They're a little more inches long. They're a little more up my alley as far as that goes. But as far as a small knife goes, this one is still quite usable in my opinion. Um, it, ooh, it is wicked sharp. Um, of course, I'm still going to sharpen it because I have to. Uh, I haven't sharpened this guy yet either. So, and it's pretty damn sharp. But I'm going to sharpen these both of these. Um, the blade looks like it has some excellent cutting geometry. I love a choil. Love that. You won't get a smile whenever you sharpen that. Um, which this one's going to smile bad if I'm not careful. Um, if you're using a uh, Wicked Edge or a KME or something like that, if you turn that, when you clamp it, and you turn that blade just right, say this is your, you can eliminate the possibility of getting that smile. I'll just have to show you on a video. It'd be easier just to show you. Anyway, um... I'm going to have to find a way to uh, get some knives sold. The, the knife market is shit right now. I need to sell some knives so I can get some more content for you guys. Um, if you have any suggestions on something you might want to see, or if you have something that you think is cool and other people want to see, and if you want to send it to me, by all means, I'll take a look at it. And then, I'll, of course, I'll ship it back to you on my own dime, and I won't hold it for a month. Um... But that's entirely up to you. Uh, I told myself I wasn't going to get into shit like that. Because um, I don't want to be responsible for somebody else's stuff. But I think at this point, I, there's, I'm not going to have a lot of choice. Uh, Timbo437 said he'd probably uh, shoot me some knives to uh, <clears throat> to check out and uh, show you guys and give my thoughts. Um, I might do some cut testing with this. I'm going to see how well this does. And just regular everyday EDC tasks, uh, cutting stuff that real human beings cut every day, uh, zip ties and packages, hard packages to cut open, not gummy worms. Um, you know, stuff like these kinds of packages would tend, which tend to be a pain in the ass to open. Um, see how it handles some uh, low gauge, some 26 gauge wire. See how it handles stuff. Uh, CTS XHP is a fantastic steel, especially if it is um, heat treated correctly, which I've never heard a thing bad about Olamic. Um, the only thing I've ever heard about Olamic is they are an American company. They make American knives. They make them here, but some of the materials, I'm guessing the bearings, hardware, stuff like that, is sourced from overseas. I'm not 100% sure on that, and I'm not 100% sure which parts but i have heard that um but take that with a grain of salt because i don't know for a fact i might write them guys over there and uh see if they will uh enlighten me all right guys i think that's it for the day like and subscribe share hit that bell notification um the biggest thing is subscribing uh, even if you don't hit the bell notification, just just subscribe, and that would help me tremendously. Hitting the like button helps tremendously with the stupid algorithms. Um, in the description, I'm going to... Um, there'll be a message for you. If you want, or anybody wants to donate to the channel... Uh, in the description, I'm going to show you how that can be done, or I'll I'll give you a, a way to message me. 
um, a dollar, two dollars, anything, and 100% uh, of all proceeds will go to the channel and to get knives for content. Um, you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, got two more knives to uh, to um, review, and then I got nothing else. I'm gonna have to sell some stuff. So you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow.